when we open a new location, no matter where it is, usually within the first few days to weeks, we will rank number one for every single service. One of the most important things you need to remember for your business if you want to scale at all is that you have to have a strong online presence, whether you're building one location or multiple locations across the entire country. So we have really three pillars of our online presence that I'm going to go through. First one is SEO or organic search. A lot of people will say SEO or search engine optimization is dead. What that means is that when you, let's say, search Botox around me or weight loss around me, your clinic is the number one clinic that pops up. So insert whatever your service is around me, your clinic wants to be the number one. Why? Because most of the clicks, most of the people searching, they're going to click that first link. I think the data is something over 50 to 70% will click that first link. Then 20 to 30% will click links two through five. And then below five, it's like you're fighting for a few percentage points of clicks. So you want to make sure that you are ranking number one. And how do you do that? You start with SEO, localized SEO strategy as well. So you want to do global SEO, search engine optimization. This is one of those things you want to spend money on. And it's a long-term play. It's not going to be that you're ranking number one in a city within a few days. Usually when you're starting out, when you have one, two clinics, you might take a few months to years to get to number one. Why? Because you're competing against everyone else and the power of your website just starting out is not very good. However, you can, over time, start to rank faster and faster and faster. For example, now, Genesis Lifestyle Medicine website is so large that when we open a new location, no matter where it is, usually within the first few days to weeks, we will rank number one for every single service. This happened when we opened in Glendale in LA. We ranked number one for weight loss, semaglutide, terzepatide, uh, cool sculpting, a bunch of other things within a few days. That's competing against everyone in Los Angeles. On the opposite side, we opened in Brentwood, Indiana, and we ranked number one within 48 hours for almost every service that we were doing. So your website, your SEO is super important to have. A lot of people like to build their own website. That might be a good start. However, when you do have the money, Spend the money on getting a really strong, really searchable website that will pop up and has very good SEO backlinks, things like that. That helps elevate your searchability so that people can find you easier. The second thing we do is ads. So we do both Google ads and Facebook ads. And we spend right now over a quarter million dollars a month in Google and Facebook ads. Now, that may seem like a lot. However, it's not a lot when you compare it to our competitors like LaserWay or Ideal Image and Hims that are spending one to $5 million a month on ads. So we want to make sure that we are optimizing those ads as much as possible. So how do we do that? Well, in the medical world, especially if you're doing Google or Facebook ads, you should be legit script certified. So legit script is a third party application. And what they do is they review your website, they review your social media, they review everything about your services and what you're doing. And they make sure that you are using the highest quality medications, the highest quality service, adhering to high levels of safety. And as a result of that, you get what's called a legit script certification. You could put that on your website. You can put that on all your ads. You can go to Google and Facebook and apply showing them that you have this legit script certification. And what does that do? Well, that helps you open up your marketing to essentially anyone in the country with any type of drug. So right now, Google has blackballed words like semaglutide or terzepatide or zepbound. You can't use them in your ads without risk of it being shut down and you banned completely from running ads. But you can if you have a legit script certification. So all the big companies, Hims, Roe, all those companies have legit script certification, lots of telehealth companies. They all have it, and it's very, very important. Now, it might be expensive. Yes, it's a few thousand dollars uh, just on the application, and then there's certifications after that. So it's good to always maybe you know join a company that has legit script certification, roll up with them, sell with them, et cetera, so that you can get that certification in order to grow your business significantly. Google ads are phenomenal. 
They are way different than Facebook ads, which are also phenomenal, but let me get to the point. Google ads or Bing ads, so these are search-based ads. These ads are people that are actually searching for your service. Weight loss near me, uh, sexual health well near me, pee shot near me, Botox near me. These are the types of people that are gonna be high, high quality leads. They're qualified, they're high quality because you can market based off their demographics in Google. And as a result of that, your conversion rate or your cost per acquisition is usually lower on Google than it is on Facebook. However, I will say that Google usually has a little bit of higher cost per lead because everybody's doing it. Google is a massive platform. So that's what you really want to be uh, on top of and pay attention. The second thing is the Facebook ads. Uh, Facebook ads are great. Again, high quality. They actually lowered in quality a few years ago when Facebook uh, didn't allow or allowed people to opt out, which caused a lot of problems with Facebook marketing. And a lot of people went over to Google and Bing and search based instead of the Facebook ads because usually people in Facebook are just scrolling, clicking. Facebook ads still are very, very good. Uh, we spend a few hundred thousand dollars on Facebook ads a year, and that is increasing exponentially. Facebook is more of a volume play. You'll get a lot more leads with a much lower cost per lead, but although your cost per lead is a little bit lower, your cost per acquisition or the work you have to do to get that acquisition might be the same or a little bit higher because you might get 100 great leads in Google and uh, 25 book and 15 to 20 buy. You might get 100 leads in Facebook and 10 book and two to five buy. So it's a volume play with Facebook. You will spend less money on Facebook getting the 100 leads than you will on Google but you got to go through more leads traditionally. Now, this is just our experience. Your experience might be different. So make sure you're finding a good marketing company. You can go to my vendors page. There's some there that you'll be able to really work with and that we recommend because we've worked with them for years and years and years and years. Uh, the third way to do it is organic social media. We focus on education. So we educate, 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 educate through the entire sales process. So when somebody comes in for a consultation, we're educating them. We're educating them on Instagram. We're educating them on Facebook. We're educating them on YouTube. We create educational YouTube videos every single month, at least eight, so two a week, on our services and how they can help people. Now, we're not selling the entire time. We're just educating. This is how tirzepatide works in the body. This is how semaglutide works in the body. The semaglutide versus tirzepatide, which is best for you. Uh, this is what the P shot is. This is what the O shot is. Uh, this is how hormones should be balanced. Uh, hormones in cancer. What are your questions? So we answer all these questions, go through all these. And the other way we do it is that, again, back to the SEO, our website team creates really strong blogs. And having blogs consistently on your website keeps it fresh and keeps it updating consistently. And what that does is it helps with organic search, people looking for you, et cetera. So we're, we have blogs on them. And a lot of times those blogs go really viral and a lot of people are reaching them or looking at them. So we simply just take those blogs and we read them out and turn that into a YouTube video. So it's not that hard. You can use so many different aspects of what's on your website and create a short YouTube video on it. We also like to use chat GPT to help us with organizing our ideas. So, you know, we could ask it, give me 20 YouTube video scripts and make five of them about weight loss, five of them about hormones, five of them about erectile dysfunction, et cetera. It pumps them out. We read, proofread them, edit them, and then that has created our content for us. So we can do that for our YouTube. We can do that for our social media. Now, a lot of people like to do that for blogs. However, it has been shown and there is proof that chat GPT and other AI generated blogs do not rank well when you're putting them on your website. So again, don't pretend like you're an expert in blogs. Don't pretend like you're an expert in creating your own website. Find a company that's very good at SEO, very good at website building, very good at ranking you so you will grow and you will improve. And the fourth thing is really 
local outreach. PE companies, VC companies, they wanna see what are you doing locally in order to spread your brand. Are you sponsoring local uh, kids' t-ball teams and sports teams and gymnastics teams? Are you reaching out to the other businesses around the community? Do you have strategic relationships? As well as with your patients, do you have a referral program? Do you have a loyalty program? Those are things that will help boost your internet presence because everyone's gonna be talking about you and your local presence which helps you lower, again, your marketing dollars because you have patients that are already doing marketing for you. They're almost your mini affiliates going out and telling people about your business. I hope that helped. Those are the four ways that we make sure we keep a strong reputation, rank very high on places like Google and social media and things like that, and make sure that we keep getting patients in. And on top of all that, despite all that, we make sure we serve the customer with high levels of customer service. If you don't do that, doesn't matter what you do, your business will not succeed. So go out there and get them.